everybody. Welcome to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin, your site, your destination for learning classic rock and pop songs on this wonderful little eight-stringed instrument. My name is Mike DeJong, and today we're taking a look at a really cool track from a really cool band called The White Stripes, and the song is called Seven Nation Army. came out around 2003 and won a Grammy Award for Best Rock Song. It's a very simple song based around basically one pattern, there's a couple of other little parts in the song as well, but really it's just one minor key pattern that I'll show you um, that's really fun to play on the mandolin. You can really rock out with this tune, even on this little instrument. All right, but first a little bit of business. If you're new here, thanks very much for checking out this channel. We really appreciate your support, but don't forget, hit that little subscriber button down there, that little red tab on your way out. Really helps this channel to continue to grow. If you are a returning visitor, thank you very much for checking us out again. We really appreciate your support. But don't forget, hit that little like button down below and maybe take a look at our Patreon and Amazon links down below as well. Lots of fun things over on Patreon these days, including live lessons and live mandolin jam sessions. So check that out. But that's enough business. Without further ado, let's take a look at this White Stripe song called Seven Nation Army for mandolin here on RPM. Okay, this entire song is based on an E minor pattern right here with your E minor chord down at the uh, first position of the neck there. Second fret of the D, second fret of the A, and open G, and an open E if you like as well, like that. Although I generally, I generally tend to play just these three strings on this chord here. And I'm using a bar chord here, which is basically one finger covering uh, two notes or more. So here I'm covering the two notes at the second fret there for your E minor chord. All right, so you start off with that. And then you just go into that little pattern, an E minor pattern. So you start off with the chord and then the second fret here, which is your E note, right? Second fret of the D string. Jump up to the fifth fret like this. Okay, so, and then back down to two. So it's chord and then two, five, two, open, five, four on the G string there, okay? So one more time. Again, it's two, five, two, open D, and then C to B, which is fifth fret to fourth fret on the G string. So let's do that again. And I'm doing that mostly with downstrokes. You see, with my right hand, all sort of really attacking that uh, that riff, really give it some some energy, some passion, right? So you could play it with up and down strokes like this, but I find there's just there's not enough power behind hitting it with down strokes. So one more time, and you're pausing on those last two notes. The, fifth fret and the fourth fret of the G string. So that's a C note and a B note once again. You're pausing a little bit like that before going back to the E minor chord. Okay, so through the riff one more time. Now that's basically the entire song or most of the song that's played through all the verses and what count as choruses in this song, I guess. Um, there's one other little part that he puts in with just a slight variation that goes like this. Okay, that's the same, but then... And there he's just going... So that's C, D, C, B, right? So that's fifth, open, fifth, four. He does that just a few times during the song. You have to listen. It's not during the main verses, it's during the instrumental part when uh, Meg White is crashing on the uh, the crash cymbals on the drums. So Jack White is doing... All right, that's the main riff throughout 90% of this song. Okay, there's a couple of other parts I should show you in this song that are pretty easy as well, uh, that come by fairly quickly. There's this part. that happens between verses and things like that. So what is that? Well, that's a G chord here that I'm playing, and I'm playing it down here instead of the standard G up here, because I don't want any open strings to ring out here. I want it to be very short and tight sounding here. So, 
right? So I've got the G chord here uh, with the fourth fret and the fifth fret and the second fret. All right, so that's a G chord voicing. And then you're going to an A chord voicing. And same thing, just bar it down here at the second fret and the second fret. And just hit those two strings. And you get a nice staccato, really kind of tight chord, all right? You want to use that chord kind of to build in when you go back into the main riff, okay? So you go. Right? And here. Alright, so that is the kind of lead-in to what counts as the chorus in this song. Okay, and finally, there's a kind of a, a really weird guitar solo in this song. I think it's a slide guitar song played by Jack White. It's uh, really weird because it's kind of out of tune at times, but it really works with this song, this really sort of garage-y sounding tune. Um, so that's cool, and of course, works for Jack White, so I'm, I'm not criticizing it. It's great, but uh, you can play it here on the mandolin a little more straightforward. So what happens is it ha it's, it's basically harmonizing in the E minor uh, scale or harmonizing notes from the E minor scale over top of that Okay, so while the bass part is playing that You can go And then Right up high Right you can do it in both places. It's Exactly the same notes, just one octave higher on the second part, all right? So I'll show you that. So again, while the bass is doing, you're going. So starting off with that E note, second fret of the D. So up to that fifth fret again. But this time you're going up the scale. So you're going E up to that G note. Okay, so two, five, two, four, five, four. Okay, two, five, two, four, five, four. So E, G, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, like that. Okay, okay, and the second time you do it, you do, you're going up to the A string, you're going, so. here. So, so from, from five, two, four, five, open five, four. All right. So again, And for the second part, as I said, you're going up an octave, playing the exact same note. So E again here, which is the seventh fret of the A string, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then to the tenth fret. So, right, same pattern as before, but here you're seventh fret, ten, seven, nine, ten. Okay, so right, ten, nine, and then seven. Okay, and I'm choosing to grab that note here. Okay, so you're going. So from 10 on the A string, I'm jumping to the fifth fret here of the E string. Okay, so. See what I did there? I went. So 10, 5, 10, 9. Okay, one more time. And that is the second part of this lead guitar run. So the entire lead guitar part goes. And you can even do some, you can even do some tremolo in there. Right in here. Right, and back to E minor. Okay, that is Seven Nation Army by the White Stripes, a really easy song, again, to play on the mandolin. Just one main part with a couple of variations. 
and a little guitar solo that's also fairly easy to get under your fingers. Have fun with it, and thanks very much once again for tuning into this channel. If you are new here, thanks for coming by. Please hit that little subscriber button on the way out, that little red tab. If you are a satisfied returning customer, thank you very much. Well, I guess you're not customers. You are friends, you are subscribers, and thank you very much for all of your support. We really, really appreciate it, and please check out the other videos on this site. My name is Mike Dijon, you've been watching RPM. <laughs>